My name is Leander Fair. I'm from Asuncion, Paraguay, South America, and you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs with Diesel. morning everybody so today is Cirque du Soleil 2 take, take two. two yes Cirque du Soleil take two Amaluna take two apparently there's a lot of Cirque du Soleil shows out there I thought they're all the same apparently this one is the one that's playing in Winnipeg but there's a bunch of others playing all over the place so we're on our way back into Winnipeg we rebooked for the Sunday afternoon because they canceled our show on Friday so they gave us 30 percent off and a full refund on our pass tickets like that we had before. I think I told you already, except now we're not in the front row, we're in the third row. But I'm okay with it. We're okay with it. We'll be in the first row next time, maybe. Yeah. Maybe in Vegas. Oh, that would be, whoo, be like a thousand buck, bucks a ticket, I think. Probably somewhere around there. I think everything in Vegas is like a thousand bucks minimum, right? Probably. Well, we're here and they didn't cancel this one. You excited? Yes. We're gonna pay $15 to park here. And there's potholes the size of children. Yeah. In this parking lot. Literally 15 gonna, bucks for this crap. I'm gonna bottom out just getting in here. Oh, huh. the lady in the e Equinox ahead of us is gonna. She hit every single pothole on the way. <laughs> it's like she's aiming for them. <laughs> dumb, dumb. <laughs> Where'd you get your license? A cereal box? <laughs> Every single pothole she's nailed. It's like she's aiming for them, I swear. Gentlemen, welcome to Amaluna. Please make sure you purchase your parking tickets at any point of sales in concession. For the exit, have your tickets ready to show at parking attendants before leaving Amaluna Island. <laughs> what would they do to you if you didn't? <laughs> it's not like they could stop you from leaving. Long last, everybody. We're back in the truck. Some might say I'm back home. But I still don't consider this to be my home. I have a home. However, we are leaving that home and we are headed down to Ohio. Apparently I have a load waiting for me that's going to Dundee, Ohio, USA. Which is about two days full driving, two full days of driving from here. So I've got to go and uh, pick it up at our yard. And I've got a scale it because apparently it's kind of on the heavy side. So I've got to make sure that that's all legal to cross into the U.S., get all my paperwork, hook up, tie it down. And we'll be back to trucking, finally. This truck is all fixed up. I am happy. I hope it goes for a long time yet. <laughs> Like we expected, most of the snow melted already in town. There's still quite a bit pushed up against the curb here and in the center lanes, but that'll all melt soon. We're supposed to be getting some really warm weather. Oh, here's a lot right here. Yikes. I guess they're just waiting for it to melt. 
like I said, we're supposed to get uh, a lot of warm weather in the next couple of weeks yet, so that'll take care of everything. It was really abnormal to have this much snow so early, but because it was so warm, the snow was so wet and heavy, right? Look at that, yikes. Oh, I gotta get into that lane. And uh, because the snow was so wet and heavy, it actually crumpled some of those big steel power lines, the transmission lines. Just crumpled them, a whole ton of them. And apparently like a thousand wooden poles were cracked or broken. This is out in central and western Manitoba, in the southern part of the province. But yeah, it was pretty bad. So, uh, I have friends out near Portersville Prairie who are without power. The, the storm was on Friday, and they only got their power back on Monday morning, I think. So it was a whole weekend. So the, you know, the Manitoba Hydro crews, they, they got things up and running pretty quick, and they did a good job. They had a lot of help from, uh, uh, crews from Saskatchewan and Ontario and I believe Minnesota also sent up help to get everything up and running uh, quicker because I mean that whole city has thousands and thousands of people without power for a few days and it's, it's amazing how much we rely on electricity <laughs> it's kind of scary actually a few days and like that's chaos panic and you know a, a state of emergency was declared just a few days without electricity. It's always important to have a backup generator. Britt and I, we have a generator, but a lot of the people out around there, they, they don't have one. So hopefully they'll have one now. Oh, we made it down here to Minnesota, don't you know? Just stopping at the Rossi truck stop here. Oh yeah, about to pick us up a coffee. Oh boy. So we've been driving for a little bit already. The sun's going down sooner than I thought it would. Suddenly I'm like, oh boy, I gotta start vlogging. I gotta start talking to them. It's gonna be dark before we know it. So the, the load was a little heavy on the front when I picked it up. I had to get the forklift guys in the yard to move uh, a couple right of lifts back. Quiet, Karen! I just got back, I'm sick of you already. Why is this guy taking up the entire driveway? Which way are you going? You're not using your signals. All right. My first day back and you're all making me mad already. So we had uh, 10 days off. Uh, well, we didn't have them off. The truck was in the shop. So we... To the highlighted route. Karen! We're, uh, we're back at work anyways. Pulling stuff around. Somebody in Ohio needs lumber from Alberta. No, wait, this is from all the way from British Columbia, I think. Anyways, I took over in Winnipeg and uh, we're taking her on down to Ohio, the eastern part of Ohio. I'm actually pretty excited because I haven't been there in so long. Remember last time we were supposed to go to Ohio but it fell through? This load didn't fall through. We're going. Oh yeah. I'm excited. I don't know. I'm just excited to be back at work. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. It feels good to be rolling again. Don't get me wrong, it felt great to be at home but... Man, getting back behind the wheel of the truck, feeling that weight behind you as you're pulling it. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Didn't miss you though, Karen. Nope. I had a good time. My wife. Okay, let's go inside. I'm gonna grab a coffee. Ended up taking my half hour break here. So I got six hours and 14 minutes available to me to drive today yet. I'd like to get as far as I can because I still have quite a ways to go get to my destination. All right, pick up, what are you doing? Thought he was gonna just drive right out in front of me. Or maybe I just drove right out in front of him, I don't know. Either way, all I know is that I'm not stopping here for the night. Let's continue on, get to the other side of Minneapolis, into Wisconsin, see if we can make it to Black River Falls tonight. That would be nice. That would be nice. In 100 meters, take the entrance to the ride on I-94 East. Okay, Karen. I've cooled down now. I appreciate your help. I did get myself a coffee with a little bit of extra kick of caffeine in there. Pretty excited about it. Alright, 
tanker yanker what you doing parker hey is this will will is that you nope it's not will close could have been wrong truck though apparently uh, my cousin will he's on his way down to illinois right now i believe or maybe he's in illinois and reloading on his way back i'm not sure he pulls a tanker like that We're on Interstate 94. We're on uh, eastbound, obviously. I'm going to try to avoid as many of the toll roads as possible. Continue on this road for 192 kilometers. Because Karen here tells me how much I have to pay for tolls to get to the east side of Ohio from here. I'd have to pay almost $175 in tolls. That's the U.S. So about $200 in tolls just one way. So we're going to try to get around it as much as possible. It's kind of hard to avoid the... Ohio Turnpike, but you know, they sort of got you there. We'll see what we can do tomorrow. We're not going to get that far today anyway. I know it's dark out. You can't really see anything, but do you see that glowing sky right there? The sky is purple. I've been looking at that glowing sky for at least half an hour now. We're getting a little closer. What is that? I don't even know if the camera's picking it up. It's probably not even picking it up, is it? We're not close enough yet. It's just this huge purple cloud. Or is it pink? Pinkish purple. I've never seen it here before. What would cause that? I don't think the camera is doing it justice. That was crazy. I keep thinking it's like right around the corner. But I, like I said, I've been looking at it for a half hour. We don't seem to be getting any closer. What's going on over here? We're in Wisconsin right now, getting close to Black River Falls. That's where we're gonna spend the night. And now it's just off to our right here. Well, maybe we are actually going past it. What is this, some kind of like country rave party or something? No, that may be flashing lights, right? It's just a steady glow. <laughs> That's so weird. Getting a little closer to it now. You see that? It's like an Alma Center here. Strangest thing ever, right? Oh, now we're gonna point more towards it. The camera's gotta pick that up. I don't know, you guys are on my head. You gotta be able to see, that's the whole sky now. Whoa. Oh, oh, I see it on the ground now. What in the world? That is really bright. It sort of looks like one of those outdoor parties, but those outdoor parties would usually, you know, uh, be flashing, right? All kinds of different colors and stuff. Huh. Crazy. Even the road is turning purple. It's bouncing off the clouds and coming back down and making the road purple. This is exit 98 in Wisconsin. by that purple place it looked like a barn that was lit up with purple lights really strange someone maybe in the comments will be able to tell me what that was if you're from around here but we're here in Black River Falls now exit 116 I-94 in Wisconsin and we're gonna try and find ourselves a spot to park which should be fun because it's uh, 20 to 1 in the morning So hopefully there will be something here for us because I really don't want to go much further. Why is that guy parked in the driveway backwards? He's actually sleeping right there. Uh, that's not a parking spot, that's a driveway because what if all these pumps were full? That's where you drive through to the parking lot. That, that, that's not a parking spot, buddy. Canadian plates, Canadian, nope. No, North Dakota, it looks like. Okay, yeah, all right. Well, at least the pumps are open. I can sneak through here, thread the needle. I'm gonna grab fuel in the morning. <clears throat> Not too tired to do anything else tonight. <laughs> oh, boy. 
and we found a nice spot to sleep and uh, woke up this morning in the exact same spot it's always awesome so we're very heavy very heavy I was actually 150 pounds over on the back after we moved everything but my tarps were on the back so I took my tarps from the back strapped them up here and that actually moved 300 pounds to the front so those tarps right there all that they're a little wet on the inside because it was a rainy day but yeah 300 pounds worth of tarps it's crazy man eh? but that's the load taking us to Dundee Ohio unload it there I don't have a reload yet but and make our way down there anyways guys thanks for watching the short video today just getting ourselves going so tomorrow we're starting from here in Black River Falls uh, we want to get down into Ohio as close as possible we got 1032 kilometers to go so we can do it but it'll be a full day a full full day so We'll see what happens. We'll talk to you guys then. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't want to miss tomorrow's video. My name is Leander Fair. I'm from Asuncion, Paraguay, South America. And you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs with Diesel.